Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Factory Town Idol, which is a incremental version of Factory Town, a game that I uh, played pretty avidly a couple years ago. Uh, effectively, it's a sandbox automation town builder uh, with kind of nice low poly assets uh, that I rather enjoyed. So let's actually just get started. Okay, looks like it's also a clicker game. So, as I always do, let's turn on OP Auto Clicker. I think that's what it is. Yeah, OP Auto Clicker. We're just going to uh, do what I usually do with these games uh, and uh, save myself some click clicking power. Yeah, there we go. That's some hella. Add some hella wood there. So crops. Oh, I see. We can complete that quest. Build a house. Where? Buildings. Here we go. Build house. Uh, let's just queue up a bunch. All right. So we've built a house. Menu harvesting. So we can now harvest tree. Oh, I see. So we got people to harvest this stuff if we want to. So is that the number of... Wood, wait, where's my quantity of resources? Oh, I see. So I cap out at 500. <laughs> I cap out at 500 and I uh, may or may not have uh, already hit that limit. Well, here's the thing. I have nothing better to do, so I might as well just go absolutely ham bananas here uh, and just level up whatever this, this cup is while we wait for other things to go. Because I'm going to need more people that I can actually allot to stuff. Cool. So now we have the lumber mill, if we want to build it. I'll build a couple. Looks like they build independently of each other, which is super nice. I like the fact that you actually do have to balance income. Let's see. We also, oh, I see. I need more planks if I want to build any houses. Well, that's fair. Well, we've built the lumber mill, so we now have the crafting menu. So I don't know how many of these people I see. I'm going to need a couple more lumber mills if I want to get to that. Oh, so with every prestige level, the amount of lumber I get goes up by, like, a lot, actually? That's cool. All right. So we've got at least a couple people making planks. We're going to need more houses. We're going to need more of these. Unfortunately, it's going to... Oh, we also can level up our town. So natural resource capacity up and 13 more land slots. The scale. We also now have the natural resource of rock. Uh... All right. So now that we have a bunch of rocks... We can now build a stockpile. Presumably a stockpile oh, requires wood. Do we not have... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. So we have 50. Oh, got it. So this increases our like total maximum in terms of what we can store. So we might actually want a couple of these. So let's go back to harvesting. Let's uh, tune down the amount of wood that we're producing. Actually, we sh what we should probably do is tune down that and tune up these guys. Because I think I'm just going to be slowly running out. This is why I have to click these so I can actually build it back up again. So reach town level 2. Well, we can produce planks. We can get a general store here. I know, that's probably going to have its own limitations. I'm probably also just going to try and build as many stockpiles as I possibly can. The more resources I can store, the better. Okay, I have a couple of people working on this. Oh, I have five of these. You know what? Let's go, let's go bananas. We're going to need all of it anyway. Okay. So I don't think I need any more of those. What does a general store do? Produces money. A lot of selling of certain things. So this probably gets us the selling menu. Markets. So we can sell wood, stone, and planks. I could sell planks, but we don't have too many of them. So yeah, let's just go back to hyper grinding both of these resources. And seeing how many more stockpiles I can possibly make. Same thing with houses. Unfortunately, a lot of this is going to take a while. Well, we now have the school. Building school. I don't know what it does, but it requires 40 gold. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that. We also have perks. Oh, but I, I need a little bit more before I can. Oh, I see. I'm gonna need a couple more general stores. Oh, it's my click power that's also leveling up. Hence why that scales so much. 
Okay, so can I sell another one of these? Yes. So I think we're going to need to fill all of these needs to get us some more town EXP, which looks like it just kind of goes up on its own. Okay, can I get another? Yes. Okay, so we are at average fulfillment. How many general stores? Yeah, I'm just going to select a bunch. We're probably almost out of land, too. And town level two. So now we have perks. Huh. Oh, this has got a prestige system. So we can start with more land, more workers per house, construction efficiency, skill gain speed, natural resource regeneration, resource capacity. I'm probably going to go for the town EXP boost and more starting land, as both of those seem kind of necessary. All right, let's just crank these up. All right, now we have the food market. Let's see, well, I never actually did build the school, did I? And the food market. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need more people making lumber. Well, do we have any more lumber mills? I guess I'll build a couple. Unfortunately, it does cost me a pretty penny in land. Okay, and we can sell grain. Oh, but we are going to need another... Well, actually, no, we're going to need the food market before I can sell it. I'm pretty sure. So let's go back to just boosting these resources so we don't have to worry about running out. It looks like we are finally running out of rocks. So that might be a perk that I want to invest towards. Otherwise, I'm, I'm actually going to run low. let that go back up because it seems like trees and crops regrow pretty quickly on their own so we now have research there is so much well we can get the food mill and that's gonna take a bunch of time on its own at cripes there's a lot okay I'm gonna need more food markets are we actually making another no I probably should and if we go back to crafting, I built at least a couple of these because we are going to need desperately a lot more lumber to do what I need to do here. Oh, we can also level up. All right, snag the quest point. So wants apple tree upgrades menu, but we got to complete 10 research. Yeah, it's going to be time consuming. Probably get another food market. Because we might as well boost fulfillment a smidge. Uh, I'm just going to keep selling wood. Because I've got plenty of... i got plenty of both of those. Uh, let's see. Why has grain got this next to it. I have no idea why it had an exclamation mark. Oh, well. Oh, there is there is even a speed boost for skill level on this. Boy, there's going to be just speed boost for everything. All right. So let's let's actually just get all of those fulfillments back up to full. Uh, my only fear is running out of planks, but it looks like we're fine as long as I'm not building too much. Uh, so maybe what I do... Oh, I see. Let's build two more schools. They're going to be kind of expensive, but worth it. Let's see. Do we have another perk? Not quite. I probably want to get natural resource regen or skill speed gain next. I think probably skill speed more than anything else. That's in. That's full version details. Right. This is just the demo. This is not actually the full game out. So if you guys actually want to play this yourselves, it's available now. And I believe, uh, oops, I believe the um, the release candidate, the release version of this game is going to be out in like a couple weeks, April twentieth. Yeah. So not not too far away at all. Okay, so we're going to need stone bricks if I want to make that. 
How are our needs? Our needs are fine, so I don't think I really want to invest too hard that direction. More lumber mills seems like not the worst idea. And more stockpiles. Because the more resources I can just hoard, the better. So I'll just let the go those go for the time being. That's going to take a bit. Oh, actually, in retrospect, we kind of needed that quarry, didn't we? Oh, well. Get another quest coin. So why don't we go for construction efficiency? Well, that lowers building costs. Research consumes less resources, more starting land, workers per house. 20% more workers might not be a bad idea. But let's go for the skill, uh, skill speed at the moment. Level up the town. I think we're starting to hit some of our bottlenecks, but eh, is what it is. All right, so we also now have apple trees. Here's the thing. Bah. All right, can we sell apple? We can, in fact, sell apple, but we need more food stand. So I'll build a couple of those. And then just keep working lumber. Okay, so food mill lets us make animal feed, food mill, and flour. Unfortunately, I think that immediately makes fulfillment bad because now they now they know there is a thing that they don't have and it annoys them. Uh, let's see, food mill. Let's just get a couple of these. Do I actually have spare people? Yes, I do. Grab that, get the food mill, and then produce a thousand flour. Oh boy. Well, at least the lumber rebuilds pretty quick. So we don't have to worry about it too much. And then, yeah, I can just do, go on a c clicking spree to get all that back. Oh, go figure, we're running out. I'm making multiple stockpiles. Uh, let's see, anything else? Honestly, neither of these are too expensive, so I might I might preemptively pick up a couple of those. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Well, we now have water bucket, so farming, forestry, and paper. So that's probably how we get more natural resources back. And then workshop for some higher stuff. I think what we're going to need, though, is the quarry. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we're also going to need workshop. Let's work on that flower. Well, let's see. Don't care too much about the rest of these. Click everything up. Give me that resource. Okay, crafting markets. Yeah, there. Well, we can at least sell flour and water now. How many food markets do I need to provide? Apparently these people are hungry. Okay. So, right. I'm gonna have to make the workshop next. Let's build like five. It seems inherently I'm going to need like ten of each just to fit needs. And then let's just make sure we don't run out of things. Uh, let's see. Anything else for me to do? Nope. Yeah, because we're working on quarry. I guess I might as well start working on farming and forestry. I don't want to start messing with certain resource types that I don't have yet. Uh, namely because this fulfillment becomes kind of a, a stinker. Because I want to get my fulfillment up to 100%. And every time I introduce a new resource type, my people get kind of bad at me. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's average fulfillment. Well, I don't know, it's it's a toss-up. Because the less fulfillment I have, the lower my multiplier. But, um, I do actually gain more EXP per second. And so it is actually worth it. But, I'm going to need so many food markets. Actually, it looks like we're going to hit an upper upper limit pretty fast, which begs the question of how does the game uh, deal with that? And the answer is, I don't know, actually. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
Why is my average fulfillment only 77%? I have no idea. Oh. We don't have enough plank. Well, can we make more plank? No, we cannot make more plank. We are hard capped on plank. Oh, there we go. It was just having fulfillment issues. Because we keep running out of some of these things. And so that's why... So these percentages are also how well they're being sated. Or how consistent? Uh, output capacity available. I don't know, man. It's, I'm doing my best. We'll figure it out past that point. So, it looks like it can make more lumber mills and more food mills. But I'm gonna need that quarry if I wanna do any anything further. So let's go back here, complete this. So now we can build a quarry. I might as well build like 10. So quarry provides storage per building for more rock. Well, that's nice. Okay, we now have the cotton plant, which I'm sure is going to make fulfillment even worse. Yep. We've built a quarry, so we can now prospect. Yeah, that's going to take a bit. And we are running out of resources, as per our usual. I got to remember to top that off every once in a while. So planks are still having a bad day, and cotton. I didn't even... Oh, no, we're just... I'm providing cotton. Ah, that's fine. I might as well, well have one person. I guess a handful of people slowly harvesting that. We are just shredding those trees. That's why we need to get into forestry. Did we? No. It's researching. It's almost done. Because that'll hopefully let me automate some level of this. Baseline speed is bad because why? Because I need shovels. Boy, I'm going to need more lumber mills. And I don't know if there's a way that I can, like, boost them or anything. At least the skill boost. Oh, is it because we're just consistently out of wood? That's interesting. It, uh... No, I think we're just burning that that much lumber here. Okay, so we can also cultivate grain, but we don't have a farm yet. Forester regenerates these resources. And that's fair. Okay. Good. So now we are producing shovels, which means none of these people can do this. Let's take a look at this. More resources, items. I'm not quite sure why we cannot quarry yet. As we don't seem to have any limitations on that, that side of things. Oh, we're also finally starting to gain uh, prestige points. Reset your town back to zero, then spend them on permanent town perks. But I'm going to need a lot more stuff before we get to that point. Why don't we build a couple of both of these? It seems like five. Oh, we don't have enough land. Yeah, we're going to need the foresters more than anything else. What we really need is the lumber mills. We might also want to let some of these things stack up, like increase the town level. Okay, that gets us a lot of quest points. What do we want to do? Uh, workers per house, click power, but that's not helpful. Idle gain, resource capacity, skill gain speed. Like, I hate to say it, but skill gain speed seems like the number one thing I need to grab. Okay. 
Oh, do we just not have any storage for this stuff? Because, yeah, I can't seem to prospect at the moment. Maybe it's another building that I'm missing. Oh, it just regenerates the natural resource. So the quarries are actually functionally useless for me. At least at the moment. Because that, that just provides more regen for the resource, but since we're not actually depleting too much because I have super clicky powers, then we don't need to worry about it in the slightest. Well, we've produced a thousand flour. I'm still working on those prestige points, but that's going to take some time. Well, let's see, I don't have to worry about grain. We have that, but once again, this just um, provides extra regen for it. I, it's there, it's nice. It's not a huge amount. Eventually, my wood problems could be would be an issue. I guess let's do that so we don't run out of wood quite as fast. Actually, now that, now that I'm looking about it, go figure. So me clicking stuff doesn't doesn't hurt the natural resource limitations, but my people auto harvesting it does. Things make a little bit more sense now. So in that case, we need to figure out masonry. That's our limitation. Because yeah, cultivation, uh, I mean, helpful for a lot of things, but cultivation specifically gives us just better regen rates. Let's take a look at this again, because I should probably scale up some of my sales. We are going to need more food and general uh, food and general stores, but yeah, I'm going to need. Well, no, I actually we can build more lumber mills. Some of these I have land for. I don't think we need more schools. I know that sounds kind of weird. Oh, I also have a point. But yeah, do I want to save up V8 for skill gain speed? There's that, and I guess there's more starting land. Because yeah, we don't need we don't need idle gain. My natural resources at the moment are looking fine. As long as I have a silly amount of stockpiles, we can just let it uh, tick down. Eventually, we'll run into limitations. But at the moment, there aren't too many. And hopefully, we get upgrades so my stockpiles can actually hold more. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to do? Because I think it's mostly waiting and slowly researching certain things. Oh, I'm a fool. I can scale up the research speed. That, would, that makes my life easier. Yeah, the reason why I was uh, ugh. the reason why I was confused by my quarry is because there's rock and then there's stone, and I was I need a third a third resource, which I think is the stone slab, which I cannot currently. Uh, produce. Can we make a little bit more of that? Yeah. I mean, my plank situation ain't looking terrible, but boy, my tree situation is looking dire. Maybe we get the workers per house. Here, let's take a look at cotton. I mean, the sad thing is, I'm pretty much just going to need that. So we might actually want to get a couple more foresters. So I don't run out of trees here. Because I will. Oh boy, look at my wood. My wood is not amazing. Oh, every time I finish constructing a building, it actually gets me some resources. I wonder if you could almost destroy and rebuild a bunch. Probably not. Uh, let's see. It's getting there, but it's going to take a while. How are we doing on research? Masonry. 
So we can now do the refined stone brick and the regular stone brick. Uh, let's see, stone mason. Let's just do five. We'll have a limited amount of space, but it's fine. Still got a decent ways to go before we run out. Okay, so we now have that. So if I go back to crafting, we can now make some amount of stone brick. Assuming we have enough resource for it. Okay, make another one, because it's going to take a while, and yeah, we don't have the uh, EXP for it. Hey, my trees are back in the positive range. I definitely need some more harvesters, and like, truly if I wanted to leave this game idle, I could probably do it better, and just go fix it, but still. So what is our current speed of output? Actual production speed is 0.75. And then every time this levels up or we get more, it goes even faster. Unfortunately, I'm going to need a silly amount of all of these resources to get what I need here. But it's fine. As we finish a lot of these buildings, this will get better. I think I'm going to cancel down to one. We're going to need the houses, though. The food markets are pricey. Let's take a look at market markets. Because, yeah, they're certainly worth it for the EXP, but ouch. Yeah, my fulfillment is taking a hit, but I think once we start prestiging and some other stuff, it won't be so bad. Okay. Hey, we're about to get to the next level. I figured I'd take a short break, get some water, let some resources stack up a bit since I had nothing better going on. Nothing else going on? Should probably also take a look at my resources and let them stack back up again. It's really just the stone brick that is our, our limitation here. Ooh, because yeah, how much is each one of these? 0.4. Yeah, so baseline speed is 0.25 workers, and then the skill level increases it by 0.1 per skill level. Well, let's level up the town. Or natural resource capacity. I don't think it increases the speed at all, but still. I'm curious what specifically controls prestige speed. Oh, we also have planes. Interesting, there might be other starting locations then. Uh, let's see, well, one way or another, it seems like I'm going to need five... At least five stonemasons. We've got the land for it, so we don't need to worry too much in that regard. Uh, let's see, so let's go back to harvesting. I'm gonna need some in grain. I should probably actually have at least one person working on each one of these. Because yeah, it looks like my grain demand is pretty high. Luckily, nothing is ticking down like super fast. So I can just let it go. I do have to say this is a very inactive idle game. Like, once you get the uh, the baseline going, it does slow down a little bit. I don't think that's actually a problem, necessarily. Uh, but what I do want to do... I want to just kind of focus on these. So we want to get hearths and pastures. So what do we need for a pasture? Animal feed. Animal feed requires... Sure, I can do both of those. It's going to take a while. I wish the time estimate was a little bit more accurate. Well, let's uh, scale up that, because I can just click my way to maximum. See, I, I want my construction resources. Okay, there we go. Hey, stone bricks in the positive, finally. I don't want to run out of those. Because that is, that is the biggest bottleneck at the moment. I guess the other thing I could take a look at would be... No. I want to see if we could get any new resource types, but it looks like we're out. At least for the moment. So in that case, I need one more general store. I kind of wish I could actually choose. Yeah, see, the time estimates here are correct. This is these. Oh, two minutes. Of course. That actually makes a lot of sense then. Let's see. So we want to build a hearth. I don't know what those do, but anything that gives me quest points is something that we want. And we want to compete, complete the 10 research. Earn prestige points by resetting your town back to level 0. Oh, I see. It's just EXP. So the more EXP I gain and the faster I gain it, the more prestige points I get. So in that case, we should probably start getting more town EXP boosts as well. With all of our quest points. 
uh, all of our quest rewards. So I could actually use two more general stores. Pricey. But not too bad. What are we doing? Research is complete. So, pasture. It'll cost us a little bit, but it's not too bad. Crafting. We can now make animal feed. Is that something new to sell at the market? It is. And yeah, it looks like we're just going to need uh, more of them. Just go till we have 15, I guess. It's gonna it's gonna cost, but what else am I gonna do? Get a couple more of those. Eventually they'll get up there skill-wise. Eventually. Let's see. Polish these off. Thousand stone brick. So we wanna do two more research. Oh, there they're going. And then we also want to get that hearth. Oh, we don't, know how, we don't know how to make it yet. 17 seconds off. Unfortunately, our speed is bad because we're out of stone bricks. Why am I not surprised? Well, here's the question. Could I make another stone mason? I could. Getting pricey, though. Let's go back to the grain. Because clearly we need more of it. The tiny XP is there. Everything else is good. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to a prestige in this video. I could leave it idle. Eh, we might get it. We might get there. It just feels like we're starting to hit some bottlenecks. Okay, there's our next general store. I guess the bottleneck is mostly just uh, selling things. Oh... Yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe what I need to do is just actually max out uh, fulfillment here. Because we go back to markets. Yep, wood's at 100%. So it's really just, we need some more food markets if I want to get that. And then we also need the stone. But I need stone for everything, so fulfillment's going to be not great in that regard, period. And do these get any more efficient? No, it looks like, looks like the needs outstrip my current supply. Well, we can get another one of these. Do we want to go for more animal feed? Yeah, because it is worth it. I'm curious about the different percentages here and how to balance it better, but unfortunately I don't think there's a way I can can do it. Oh well. Let's see. Anything else? Because yeah, the workshop and the stonemasons are uh, expensive? And are pretty much, yeah, going to continuously cost me everything I've got. Research. Okay, bakery, hearth, and fire. So what does the hearth do? Produces fire. Well, that taxes everything further, but that's fine. Oh, I see. We now can research the bakery. Well, it's not too expensive. I, I think I'm going to try and finish as many researches as I can that don't use stone. Okay, so I'm just going to start creating fire. I don't think I can sell fire. Good. We don't have to worry about that. That would be weird. So yeah, what of these research can I actually pursue? That might have just nuked my happiness. We'll see. Because, yeah, we now have eggs and milk. Uh, let's take a look. I guess let's just build a bunch of pastures. Because I think those are going to be kind of necessary. Eh, let's go down to five for now. It seems like the first five are always necessary. After that, it starts becoming a little bit more of a question mark. Alright. And we're running out of stone. 
Okay, built the pasture. Uh, hoi. Okay, we got some more quests. And we now have a menu for upgrades. Oh. Blessed be. Building skill gain speed. Not even a question. I'm just going to toss all of my money. Farewell, Cash. You were nice. Hi. Okay, we've just completed a silly amount of quests all of a sudden. I don't know if all of these are giving me quest tokens, though. I think they're just... Oh, they're just giving me extra upgrades that I can invest into. Well, unfortunately, oh, market capacity, number of sellable items per food market. Yeah, that's really good. Of course, everything is now chaos, and good luck me. Alright, uh, it, yeah, we're gonna have to look into balancing all this business all of a sudden. So if we take a look at... Crafting. We are producing egg fertilizer, wool, milk. Uh, so in that case, maybe I can sell? Oh, yeah, that just straight up doubled my selling capacity. Okay, so we are most assuredly going to need more egg and milk. You know, I said we're going to need more pastures. Yup, I was correct. Boy, those upgrades, though. They are super nice. Unfortunately, most things require red coins. I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Well, we've got paper now, so that's the next thing. Let's see. Well, storage for water. Oh, here's the other thing. Yeah. I gotta remember to bop back here. My stone drain is really high. Okay, back to crafting. Animal feed. That's my grain. We're not even gonna think about it. Okay, we might as well start making some paper. Oh, but my poor lumber mills. My poor everything. You know what, actually, we could probably take two people off of this to gain some more paper. And if we look at this, we can... Milk was the only thing that we were running low on. Well, things are speeding up, at the very least. So if I go back to house... Yeah, I can't do that. Let's get some more lumber mills for the time being. Uh, let's see. And we're going to need at least a couple more stonemasons. And then just continue chucking resources at problems. So I do have seven people. What can they harvest without depleting? Because we don't want any of these to be in the negative. Because that would be iffy. Yeah, surprisingly, we don't have a whole lot of natural regain on the rocks. Luckily, I can handle most of that myself, but still. Okay, so what else do we have? Because we should probably do a couple of the really fast research. Oh, warehouse. Gets me an extra 100 storage for everything. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we now have a recipe for raw chicken. Unfortunately, I think that's also something my people are going to desperately hunger for. And I guarantee you, I do not have nearly enough. Oh, we now have the recipe for beef and cheese and cultivate. Oh, gosh. The markets have never been worse. People are angry. Well, at least cash looks pretty good. Oh, am I out of wood again? No. 
I just need more lumber mill, I think. Let's top everything off. Go back to this. Oh gosh, my plank drain is so high. Why? Oh, wait. No? What's my... Okay, so production is 9.5. Oh, it's because I'm constructing more lumber mills. That's that's why this is taking a while. Oh, we also have this. Do I want to go for the town EXP boost? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to start hitting this. Nine more quest coins. Don't even know how or where. But yeah, that should speed up at least some of these things. What else do we have? Cultivation speed? No. Skill gain speed, though. Worth it. Okay, research is going reasonably well, and I gotta rebuild my clickable stock. Yeah, we want that, uh, we want that warehouse. A little rough. We can now cultivate the cotton plant and the apple tree. I'm just gonna let a couple of these go. Uh, not that we need too much of it. Oh, it won't let me. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And market capacity in the food... For food market just went up. But it's fine. So how are we doing on... Uh, animal feed? Bad. Looks like I'm gonna need some more food mills. Yeah, but... You know what I really need? Not paper, actually. We're just going to switch them up to lumber. Unfortunately, yeah, it's going to take a long time for that to level. I don't think there's much I can do about it, is there? Okay, well. I'm just going to sate every single one of these needs. Even if I can't, oh, do it too well. If any of these are at 100... But not. So if we're at 100% satisfaction... Oh, my stone. If we're at 100% satisfaction, but this isn't 100%, then I can boost it. Unfortunately, my animal feed situation is uh, looking dire. Okay. Which one of these can be sold? I have no idea. I don't I don't actually know what quest coin we just got out of that one. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna be able to get red coins here. We'll get the warehouse, that'll be nice. Oh, books bookstore is how we get the Yeah, let's start working on that. It's gonna absolutely tank my paper, but it'll just go nice and slowly. While we're at it, let's also tank my supply for fire and flour. Looks like we're fine there. Let's see. What do I do next? Mostly panic. I've, I've been getting through on grace of click power. Uh, let's work on these. Unfortunately, once again, that, that plank cost is just so high. Okay, I think we can jump forward at least a little bit before we end. We're about to hit the prestige point. So we can also get production capacity for the lumber mill. That sounds kind of good. Uh, heart speed, uh, stone harvesting speed, leather, and then also warehouse capacity upgrades. Anything else? No. So this wants us to get... 10 upgrades. So I, I think I'm going to stick it out just so I can get a couple of these prestige points before we go anywhere. Because uh, if I can get even just one more, it'll be in a good spot. So let's get that town upgrade. And can I build a bakery yet? The answer is no. Markets are in shambles, but we're not even going to think about it. We can get the bakery. And we can also get the bookstore. 
And oh boy. Library requires a thousand books. Hmm, that doesn't feel good. What does study do? I don't know, but I that actually looks like it could be absurd. So let's max that out. That might be a building study. Research basic logistics. Oh shoot, we haven't even gotten up to basic logistics yet. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm out of this stuff. I can't let that run out. Boy, those markets are sure do look unhealthy. Oh well, okay. Next town level. Uh, let's see. Town EXP boost is pretty expensive. I think I'm actually going to go back to that skill gain speed, maybe? Oh, or, oh all upgrades are cheaper. Hmm. Goods consumption boost. I kind of don't want that. I want the reverse. Yeah, we really just want the town EXP and the skill gain speed. So let's go, let's go skill gain just because. Uh, let's see, let's go back to clickables because yeah, I run out of grain really fast. We're not storing too much of it. So I guess I'm gonna just make, we'll make like five bookstores and oh. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to research these. Oh, that's going to... Oh my gosh. Study is going to take 12 minutes. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's going to take some... Uh, going to take a little bit of time. Okay, back to our clickables before we run out of grain again and everybody loses their minds. So I wanted to take a look at this bookstore. We are making them. Okay. I don't know if I want to sell books, though. How much does it cost to make book? Not too bad. We are not making it fast, though. Our skill level is kind of mediocre. Just need one more upgrade. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to figure out how to make red coins before we can get to that. Which I think is going to be worth it. Let's take a look at harvesting, by the way. Where are we at? In bad places. I'm like, at least the grain speed is getting better, but no, not anytime soon. Yeah, some, some of these skills we are not going to be able to boost anytime soon, and maybe that's fine. Okay, did we... Oh, we did actually research the bakery. Oh, but we can't, I can't make it. Okay, so if I go back to crafting, our issue looks to be animal feed yet again. Well, what do I need for a food mill? That's doable. It's a drain, but it's not a huge one yet. don't want to sell any more books and yeah we do have a prestige point but I don't I don't know how to prestige oh I see I can reset for this so they get us one prestige point reduce our town level back down gain a reset and give us a flat five uh, five percent exp boost kind of tempting Okay. Because yeah, I can't make that yet. Take a look at these. So we can do refined plank and stone brick, which we need for both of those. Anything else? We still haven't gotten the well yet. So why don't we get the well and the tailor? I can speed them up, but meh. Okay. Two into refined plank. Two into refined stone brick. And let's go back to clickables because, once again, one of our big issues with animal feed is probably that we just don't have enough wheat. 
We run out of it so fast. There's not much I can do with it. Production capacity, pasture, 7.5 red coins. And I still don't actually know how to make the better book. I want to take a look at this. Selling of these items. So yeah, there's different book stack levels. One of them is going to let us, or maybe it's just a resource type. Okay. Because what if we go to the markets? What if we zero some of this stuff out? So I don't think I'm going to be able to sell all of these things. I'm going to stop selling my animal feed. That's a weird waste. Oh, but we've got to reach 10 in flower, stone brick, or refined brick, and refined wood. And then also town level, ooh, menu world. Okay, we'll stick it out for one more level. I don't think this video is going to go that far, unfortunately, but still. So what does the well do? I think the well just gives us extra capacity. Oh, and I never did get the hardware store. Produces red, so that might also be a method here. Okay, so what is the new building? Well, extra storage for water. I mean, it's nice. We just haven't needed it. Harvesting speed for cotton and water. What we need is grain, though. But so be it. And yeah, we can't afford anything because we still don't have what I'm looking for. Well, shall I build like two more schools to speed this up a smidge? I think I should. I might, I don't know. I want a prestige, but I also, I want a prestige just so I can show it off. It might slow everything down, but honestly, you know what? Let's do that. Rather than getting to the world menu as nice as that would be, let's get one more upgrade, if I can. Which might have to be exploration. Alright, let's go back to... Maxing a couple of these out. Back to research. We were going to take a look at the hardware store. So I want to go back to crafting. Let's make some amount of leather. Oh, back to markets. Let's not sell the flour as much. Unfortunately, our fulfillment is not gonna happen. Oh, I can't make any of this stuff, even if I wanted to. Well, never mind then. But let's not sell our animal feed at the very least. That would be silly. Oh, it's butter. But yeah, again, we need the bakery if I want to sell any of that stuff. Looks like we can get at least another refined plank. And stone brick. Actually, I can do a couple? No, I can't. I'm running low on the resources. We take a look at harvesting for... Ooh. Up to 122%. Well, I can get one more person here. Okay, increased upgrading speed. Oh! We might still run out, though. All right, research. Are we done with the hardware store? Yes. It's If I can get those red coins, all of a sudden, certain parts of this open up in an interesting fashion. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't ignore at least a couple of these things. Erroneously. Okay, so we go back to markets. Boy. Boy. You think I could have actually saved myself a heck of a lot of grief had I noticed I could actually make red coins this entire time. Oops. Oops. 
we are actually going to need more of each of those. Upgrade skill gain speed. S. All right, so there's our 10 levels. We can get this one done. It's still going to take a while before I get to the world. Ah. Because I do want to get to the world. And it's not too far away. Okay, let's sell each of those. Because they sell pretty fast. Looks like we're going to need nine hardware stores, stores total. At least for our current complement of tools. But, but, now we can actually start getting some of these major upgrades that I've been needing this entire time. Let's see. I've only got a handful. Next upgrade for the stonemason. Oh, can we build the uh, bakery? Cause yeah, I might as well I might as well get a couple of these down and done. Cause again, if I can have enough quest coins. Hopefully quest coins carry over between runs. Okay. So we've hit town level 10. So we get quest coin, biome river, forest, and world. Oh. So I can just farm extra stuff. Right. So is this just a whole separate section of town? So we've built a second town center. Can I build another? Okay. So I can rename the town whenever I want. We have these. Is it just its whole separate extra section with... Oh, and you can trade resources between. Oh, that changes some interesting things, and I'm really curious to see how that goes. That said, let's go for the... Do we want the skill, gra skill gain speed? I, I guess I don't know how much of this carries over, is the real answer. So why don't, why don't we go for the skill gain speed at the moment? So it also looks like we're... In, oh! That's town levels. Okay, so if we go back to Wobbleville. So each town could also produce its own prestige points and a bunch of other stuff. That's freaking wild, man. Like, obviously there's a lot of these things I'm going to need to work on, but uh, the fact that you can have a bunch of different towns with their own unique effects and abilities and whatnot, and levels, and oh boy, the game just tripled, tripled? Well, I don't know if it necessarily... I don't know how much bigger it really gets, because it's its not like it, it uh, went up, what, three, eight times? It did not octuple in size. But it certainly just got a lot bigger a lot faster. I'm curious about some of these different UI things, if they actually carry over. However, it is time to reset. Uh, let's see. Reset everything? Yes. So, first question. Doesn't reset the other towns. So actually, prestige is... That's... Oh, here we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what was I going to say? Prest um, prestiging is on a town-by-town -town basis. So we could go extra land capacity, sell value. This is pretty good. Cultivation productivity. Harvesting. Harvesting. Of all trees and crops. Research speed and crafting speed. That's interesting. Construction cost, construction speed. I think I'm going to go for the sell value. I have no idea if that's the right path or not, but who knows. One way or another, I, I appreciate the fact that prestiging is not actually a prestige in the same way. Uh, that it looks like a lot of my upgrades are carried over between every town, and the prestiging just resets the current town 
to its bare minimum, but you can very quickly get back kind of to where you were without too much trouble. Obviously, it's still going to be a little slower because, you know, everything takes time and effort and so on and so forth, but I like that. I like a lot of these mechanics here. I will say it's uh, a bit n mind numbing after a certain point trying to commentate over this game, so I don't think I'm going to do much more than this. I'll probably do another video when uh, this comes out in a couple of weeks, uh, and we'll actually split our attention between a couple of towns. Uh, so I might actually just leave us where we are at the moment. Uh, but with all that said, fact Factory Town Idol is available on Steam and in its demo state. Hopefully the your save file can just carry over too. Uh, just so, you know, if you wanna really hit the ground running when it comes out, uh, you'll be able to. I have to say one thing I really like about this is it seems completely feature complete and also feels like there's a lot of different things you can do. So if you're really hitting that point where you're starting to feel kind of bogged down by X or Y thing, you can just not have to worry about it. Yeah, so we can even trade resources from one of these to the next. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I wish it didn't reset research, but eh, oh well. It actually, wow, it reset, resets everything. Eh, makes sense. Is there a bonus to this? Yeah, it looks like just number of town resets. Um is just a tracker, nothing more. And also feels like, looking at this, you pretty much want to prestige. I, I'm very glad I waited, because you pretty much want to wait until you have two to prestige, and then three, and then four, and then so on and so forth. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, I'm sure once we start prestiging really hard, it'll get quite fast. And what we'll probably want to do, and what I should have done, was actually had uh, left this town running, and built up Wobbleland and Wonk. I'll have to rename them. Uh, let's see, because if I could have built them up and then passed the resources back over, it would have saved me a lot of trouble. Oh, but there's exchange token. Oh, oh, it has to be equitable, of course. Well, anyway, with all of that said, uh, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, it helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.